Okay guys, so here's the deal. If you are like me, you're probably spending way too much time trying to promote your WordPress site and your e-commerce products on social media platforms. Well, what if I told you that there is a brand new tool and I mean it just launched that can do all that for you. And I'm talking full automation, not just for your blog post, but also for your products. So no more manual posting or stressing over how to market your store. So today I'm going to show you how this tool works. And once you've seen it in action, you'll wonder how you ever managed without it. Okay, let's jump in. Excellent. And for this, we are going to use BitSocial. So there's an early bird limited offer at the minute. As you can see, there's 19 days left. So depending when you're watching this video, well, you might take advantage of it or perhaps not. Maybe it's going to be too late for you, but take advantage of this immediately because this is an amazing solution as we shall demonstrate in a minute. So what is BitSocial exactly? Well, with it, you can schedule an auto post in social media. And this is, as it says here, the ultimate solution for WordPress. So right here, as you can see, automate your WordPress post to social media in an efficient way. And BitSocial saves you your time and resources as well. Now it's only $99 at the minute instead of $399. So it's a quarter of the price. So super advantageous offer indeed. And as you can see, this is an early bird offer. So take full advantage of this now. So let me show you now how this works in the back end. So you go to your WordPress dashboard and as you can see, I have both of them installed. There's a free version and a pro version. Obviously I have the pro version installed so I can show you all the features. Now, BitSocial will work for any type of website. It could be a blog or maybe an e-commerce website selling products, obviously. And also, just for the sake of our tutorial here, let's pretend you run a blog like this one here. Maybe you're in the fashion industry or something like this, you know. So let's go to the blog and we have a few different posts. And obviously, every time you upload a new blog post, you'd like to promote that on your social media platforms automatically without any effort from your side. And this is where uh, BitSocial comes into play, basically. OK, so now let me show you how you can set this up, how it works and also how you can take full advantage of it. OK, so let's go back to the WordPress dashboard. And as you can see, once this is installed, you'll have an extra tab here, Bit social pro so I'll click on this and right from here this is step number one is to link your social media accounts so I'll simply click on this or here okay so either of them is fine and there you go as you can see right here by the side you can link it to LinkedIn Facebook Twitter Pinterest Discord uh, Google business profile and Tumblr as well so with the free version, you only have access to LinkedIn and Facebook. And with the pro version, you have all of them available. So personally, I only have a Twitter account. So this is the one I'm going to use here to show you how this works. OK, so I'm going to click connect account and then select the social media platform that you want to connect. In our case, we're going to use X or Twitter. So if you're not too sure how to do so, there's a very easy tutorial here. You'll just watch the video and they also have a document as well. You can follow step by step. So super easy to do. So in our case, I'm just going to click custom app. And this is the same principle with all the social media platforms. You have to provide them with the API key and the API secret key as well and select your API version and then you'll be up and running. So in the case of Twitter, for instance, you go to the developer portal and then create your API right here. But again, don't worry, all the steps are highlighted in their tutorial. All you have to do is to watch the video, okay? Now we're gonna connect this together since I've done that already. So let's click connect. And then you'll have a pop-up window like this one. So authorize Mr. Web Demo to access your account. Yes, I will do so. Excellent. So now we are connected and all we have to do is to basically select our profile. So this one here. Okay. So save. Very good. So account saved successfully and we are now fully connected. Very good. So now let me show you how you can automate all your blog posts using BitSocial. So right here on top, you have WP auto post, you have WP post schedules, share now, calendar, templates as well. And you even have more options, your main settings here and you can uh, switch between light mode and dark mode if you prefer, okay? So the first one here is WP Auto Post. So click on this. Okay, so right here by the side, as you can see, you have all the different accounts. So you can select which accounts you want to link to this feature here, okay? 
and then you can enable or disable features for each and every account so the first thing you need to do obviously is to select the account you want to apply this to and right on top here you can select all your options so the first one is share post automatically so this is probably the most convenient one of all so that means that when you publish a new wordpress post the plugin shares all the posts on all active social media accounts automatically so you have nothing to do basically all you have to do is to create your blog post and it will do that automatically for you but not just for blog posts you can also select maybe pages media product or if you're using shortcut same principle upsells product and product upsells as well you know so let's go maybe for products as well so if you create a new product if you have an e-commerce website it will post it automatically or a brand new blog post as well it will post it automatically so do you want to delay or not or post it immediately this is really up to you wait five minutes ten minutes an hour etc etc okay so let's say we're going to do that immediately and right here on top you have to enable it so use the toggle switch and that's basically it okay so as you can see this was saved successfully so let's put this to the test okay well good so for this let's create a new blog post okay so i'm going to open this in a new tab and let's create a new one all together okay so add new post and i'm going to call this one test mr web and then i'm going to enter a few details here and then i'm going to publish it okay so let me create the content now okay so as you can see i just added an image here a bit of text underneath so do you like writing if so what are your favorite items and then i'm going to publish this okay and see what happens okay so publish publish okay so that's gone live and now let's have a look at the website itself so we can go to the blog and see what happens so there you go test mr web so this has been posted on the website and now let's go to x see what happens okay so i'm going to go to my profile and as you can see i have test mr web if i click on this well there it is guys you can see this this was created automatically for us now obviously all we have is the title test mr web so we're not interested in that obviously so what i'm going to do is to delete this okay and let's start all over again so we go back here and then from here you can customize the message basically the template the way you want to display it on your social media platforms so far select the social media platform itself so i'm going to select x and right here you can customize your message so as you can see at the middle we have the post title that's all that will display but you can use those smart tags as well so click on this and this will work for blog posts but also for your products so as you can see you can select all sorts of different uh, items you know smart tags so you have product name description short description price sales price etc etc so you can have something very customized and that will be automatically displayed on your social media platforms so in our case here we can select any of those related to our blog post so we could have maybe the full content let's add this and perhaps we're going to add as well maybe the featured uh, image url okay so we have those two so what i'm going to do is basically put this uh, spacing in between you know just like this okay very good and let's put this to the test obviously you can spend a little bit more time and fine tune this the way you want you know and once you have this customized here you can also select the posting type as you can see only custom message link card feature image product image or all images so that's really up to you you can select any of those so we're just going to go with the custom message for now just to put this to the test okay so now we need to create a new blog post obviously so what i've done here i've basically duplicated this one so now we can edit this and as, as we see it's the exact same as we had before so test mr web an image and a line of text as well so let's go back here to our custom message as you can see we added the featured image url so this is not a featured image this is basically an image within our blog post so now we need just to set one ourselves okay so set featured image let's take the same one perhaps set featured image very good and now we can publish okay so let's put this to the test publish publish very good and now let's go back to twitter and refresh very good and now as you can see if i click on this this is our the content of our post so test mr web do you like writing if so what are your favorite items and this is the link exactly as requested to our image and if i click on it it will open up nicely like this so this is working okay so now let's go back here for a second now let's try this with a product okay so you can use either shortcut or woocommerce so i have woocommerce installed so let's create a new product together so add new so I'm going to fill out those fields very quickly now. Very good. So let's pretend the product name is Mr. Webb's fictitious product. And this is a description. 
right here for the price regular price 99.99 and sales price 74.99 and we added an image here so what i'm going to do now is to publish this okay so publish and now if we go back to x and refresh there you go right here on top as you can see we have mr web's fictitious product we have the description and then the image to our product which is right here so this is working obviously you know now when it comes to product you can add a bit more details if you wanted to as you can see of the show smart tags so maybe you want to add the sale price and the regular price so let's add the regular price and the sale price as well okay so maybe you could have regular price just like this okay and then here underneath maybe on sale and then the product sale price okay so as you can see this is saved so let's go back to our product quickly okay so products and let's re-edit this one edit again and to test this again we're going to change the status so i'm going to go from publish to draft okay and then update and then we're going to republish it again okay so now let's publish this and normally it should automatically post that onto our x account very good so let's go back to x and refresh very good as you can see now we have mr web da -da 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 -da, and then regular price 99 and then on sale 74.99 so there you go guys this is how you can customize the template of all your social media posts and have them posted automatically for you without any manual labor from you very good so let's go back to our setting for a moment so we've taken care of our template and more specifically on auto post now let me show you how you can schedule your post okay so let's go to wp post schedules and right here you can create your own schedule so let's click on this excellent so first you're going to give it a name so maybe weekly post or something like this okay you can define the start date and then you set your interval so is it every hour every uh, day every week every month every year or maybe every second day every second week every second month and so on and so on okay so you can set this up very easily here and then in which order start from the latest to the oldest from the oldest to the newest randomly or randomly without duplicates i think this one is a very nice touch actually I, I really like this one myself to be honest you know and then you can set a sleep time so if you know from your analytics that your, your audience is not there maybe between 1 a.m and 6 a.m or 8 a.m the morning well you can set a sleep timer so you won't uh, basically publish posts that won't get any traction and then you can set sleep days as well so maybe the wednesday it's a very quiet day for you uh, based on analytics record you could maybe set wednesday as a day off or maybe you don't uh, publish during the weekend or something like this you can set this up here as well you can set filters as well if you wanted to so basically by published times of the post all times in the last seven days last 15 days the last month and so on you know uh, by post type so is it again post is it products is it pages is it what, what is it so basically select what it is that you want to display specifically here you can do so by categories tags and also specific posts if you want to select them individually and then you have the account and templates as well so here you can select specific accounts that you want to take care of and basically filter down to just those few accounts and after this all you have to do is click create and you have your schedule right in place ready to be posted automatically without any manual labor or perhaps you want to publish a post right here right now in which case all you have to do is click on share now create a new post select your social media platform and then basically you can create everything from here and then click publish now and you can also set up a schedule for later if you wanted to but basically from here you can do it right here right now and then you can also make use of the calendar so this is a very amazing feature let me show you why so let's say if you were to create a post schedule here obviously all those schedules will display here automatically but you can also set different schedules according to the day or the week or the time period in the year that's really up to you so as you can see if i was to click on tomorrow and then you can set this up specifically for that day or that week exactly the way you see fit so as you can see for that day or that week i could go from the latest to the oldest and then maybe the following week i can set it up right here maybe randomly without any duplicates and then you can become really creative with your social media posts and automating those schedules directly from your calendar so there you have it guys a mighty tool to improve your sales and as always i'll leave all the links in the description below thanks for watching and i'll catch you in the next one